Well, um, I guess I'd just uh, like to start off by showing my an appreciation to Trev and, and really the, the people of Nebraska. You know, uh, I've been invited back several times by Trev and, and um, he was relentless. You know, he, he kept after it and, and uh, it, 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 it makes a lot of sense to be back. You know, I've spent a lot of time on that field out there. Um, uh, family, spent a lot of time here. It's, we consider it uh, our home. So it's uh, great to be back. Any questions you have, uh, be glad to answer. Frank, what was the time right now? Well, uh, I just felt comfortable uh, with it um, right now. You know, Coach Rule, I know uh, when he got to town, he got a hold of Coach Osborne. Um, he texted me some. We texted back and forth. We talked on the phone maybe once, maybe, maybe twice. Um, and that, that wasn't happening before. And, and so it, it, I just felt, uh, just felt uh, welcomed in, th in that manner and, um, you know, knew that uh, it would be good to get back um, and be a part of what Nebraska's all about and, uh, again. And so I, lo I looked forward to it, and I'm glad I'm here. Yeah, you know, that's, uh, that's always a, a great part of the coaching uh, profession, getting a chance to stay in touch with uh, former players. And um, you know, a number of them have uh, stayed in touch. Uh, many of them are coming back. We've got an event uh, tonight um, with them. And, and not only uh, uh, former players here, but, you know, um, I, I got a call from some Southeast players, and we had, uh, had lunch to together here just the other other day and um, you know I hear back at times from guys at uh, at Holy Name High School uh, that I coached my first two years of coaching and so when you look at that um, it's, it's pretty hard to beat this per profession you know so certainly um, enjoyed it and uh, enjoy coming back and being uh, being around players that I haven't seen for a long time. Yeah, um, just going through the facilities, uh, it's pretty amazing. Um, and I, I guess that's not the, the big project yet, you know, that, uh, that I was through. That, it looks pretty good the way it is, you know. And um, I, I know that um, uh, they're, they're searching and reaching, to, uh, and I think they're, they're going to be one of the best in the, in the country in terms of facilities. I don't think there's any question about that when, when they get done. But it's a, it's a long ways away from when I first arrived as a player and we had a, a little weight room that no one used uh, over at the end zone, you know, um, and uh, to what it is today, it's, a, it, it's amazing to me, you know, and, and obviously I was here for a while, um, no comparison between when I was here and what it is, is now, and, uh, but that's great, you know, I, I think it's really good for the players. Um, I think it'll be uh, great for the fans too. You mentioned that you had some lunch or allowed some guys to lunch days ago, so you've been in town a little while. Uh, as you've gone around town, what, what have people been saying to you that they're probably right now? Well, I haven't gone around town much, you know. Um, our daughter lives here, so uh, Pam and I were uh, staying at our daughter's. Pam had arrived uh, quite a bit earlier as a uh, 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 a birthday was in the making there with our daughter, and uh, she made it to it. I went back to Ohio and visited um, o Ohio University, and they had their spring game last week, and they had a golf outing, and, and so I got around players and former coaches uh, that I worked with uh, there before coming out here, and then about midweek uh, came out here to, uh, to visit with a few friends and then get ready for the event. Yeah, um, he was at Temple, and uh, we, when I was at Ohio, we played Temple uh, a few times. I think it was twice, 
maybe three. I know we beat them twice, but I think it was uh, uh, we may have played him uh, played him three times. And you know, he was, I believe, the offensive coordinator at that time. And you know, you you get a chance to meet him after a game, and you you see how how they uh, perform offensively uh, and defensively, and so you get to know a little bit about. The, their coaching style and the kind of offenses and defenses that the opposing teams teams run and but um, but I've, I've been impressed with him uh, no matter where he's been you know he's he's uh, been able to get the the job done at a, at a very high level and certainly in, in college college ball and um, he'll he'll do a, I really believe a, a great job here he's doing all the right things in my mind and um, with that being being said, he's, uh, he believes he's got some talent here, and uh, I'm sure they'll be able to continue to, to recruit great, uh, great talent. And uh, I'm counting on them. Uh, maybe counting's the wrong word, you know. I'm hoping that, uh, that they'll have great success and uh, be able to move Nebraska's football program forward, and uh, I really believe that'll happen. Yeah, never been to a game. Um, watched it on TV some of the time. It was tough to watch it all the time, uh, but watched it some of the time. And um, obviously, deep down inside, was was uh, actually pulling for Nebraska. And um, so it was tough to see uh, what had really transpired in terms of wins and losses as things unfolded over the over the years. Um, but, uh, you know, always, uh, if I couldn't get, if I wasn't able to watch it on TV, would, uh, would certainly follow the, the game on score and, uh, and try to make sure I, I stayed in touch with, uh, what was happening at, at Nebraska, you know. Well, coaching is very hard on families, and um, you know it was very difficult on on our family in, in a lot of different ways. And our daughter and her family still live here in uh, in, in Lincoln. And um, so I, um, you know, at first I, I felt it was best for me just to stay completely away. And then you know it got to the point where um, you know I I felt like hey. Uh, you know, maybe it's maybe it's time to to look at this from a through a different lens, and to uh, uh, look at all the great people that are here, the people that I know and worked with, um, uh, the fans. You know, um, I was in some ways only hurting myself, I think, in continuing to to, to stay away. So I'm, I'm I'm glad to be back. Um, that I uh, appreciate the support they gave me um, throughout my career here. And, um, you know, you can't please every fan. You know, I, I know what being a fan is like now. I sit on the couch and watch football game after football game on Saturday, you know. And um, I got all the answers now. You know, when you watch from the couch, I know exactly when they should go for it on fourth down, you know. But, um, but it's... You know, it's something something that um, uh, that not every not every state has in terms of their football program, and university has as far as the fan support that's here. So you always got to appreciate that. You always got to know, as a football coach, you're never going to always please every everyone, uh, but you do you do the best you can, and as long as you know uh, inside that you're a pretty good football coach and you don't have to have anybody else tell you that, then uh, you're okay with, with what comes along with fans being fans. Yeah. Yeah, uh, it's very difficult. I'm still struggling with that um, a little bit. Um, uh, 
you know, I, I'm watching a lot of football when football season's uh, there. I, I miss the competitiveness, you know, that, that's involved in the, in the game, getting ready for the games, competing during the, the games. I miss the companionship with your fellow coaches and, uh, and working with them year, year round. You know, I, I miss working with the players. Uh, so that all comes together to where uh, you, you miss coaching a great deal, I think. If you've ever been a coach and you step away, uh, you, you've got to miss it. And, um, you know, that's, that, that was hard for me to just not be involved. And, um, you know, I'm not a guy that makes friends easy. So, you know, my neighborhood, I don't know that I know anybody that I, I don't have any friends yet, you know. So, so uh, I'm still struggling and trying to figure out what to do in, in adjusting to life, you know. But um, uh, at some, some point in time, I think I'll, I'll probably enjoy retirement. But right now, I still struggle a little bit with it. Uh, I'll, I'll, here, there, there. Uh, we live in Boise, Idaho. Yeah. Um, we've owned a house there for, uh, I don't know, it's about 10 or 11 years now, I guess. Um, I just never lived in it, you know. Um, a couple weeks in July, I'd be out there because I was coaching, you know. But, but our son lives out there and his family, and my wife was visiting um, Jeff and, and his family, and then she'd go to uh, Lincoln and visit Cindy and, and, the, and the family there. And then she'd come out and visit me while I was coaching at Ohio, and then she'd start making that circle again. And um, she found a house once out there. It was just uh, very close to our son's house. She called me and said, um, hey, I found this house. I'd like to buy it. So we bought a house without me even looking at it. You know? Ended up being the best financial d decision I made, you know, because ho houses out there have skyrocketed uh, since, that, uh, since that time, you know. Uh, but we're, we're living very close to our son now. And... Um, Obviously, that's an advantage uh, to us, Pam and I, maybe not to our son and his family because he's always coming over to fix things, you know. Um, I turned the, the biggest, uh, the smallest projects into the biggest projects, and so he bails me out a lot of the time. So that part of it uh, is good. I, I, I think I'll enjoy Boise. I don't know yet for sure, but that's where we're living. Yeah, no, I've not offered um, any advice to coach. He he knows what he's doing. You know, he's a heck of a football coach. Uh, again, he'll 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 do a great job here. He doesn't doesn't really need advice from me. You know, I I know he's even incorporating the belly and belly option uh, a, l a little bit in um, in in his offensive uh, attack. So we laughed about that a little bit. You know, but no, he's. Um, uh, He's his own guy, and he doesn't he doesn't need any any help from uh, from me. But I appreciate you know him reaching out to me, and uh, as I know, Coach Osborne appreciated him reaching out to him also. It's not a curse that's been put on by any of my family members, that I know, or else there would be a few more people in trouble, you know. But um, no, we've, we've, we got, we've got nothing to do with curses, and, uh, um, and so that, uh, if there's a curse here, it's, uh, it's not, not because of us, and uh, w let's just say it's gone now, if there has ever been one, okay? Um, it'll, it, it's good for me. Um, I, you know, I, I looked forward to coming back and just never found the opportunity to be right. And, um, now it seems to be, uh, seems to be right. And, uh, so I'm, I'm glad I'm back. I got, as I mentioned before, uh, a lot of really good friends here, get a, get a chance to visit them and, and, uh, and, and maybe come to some games, you know, uh, and, and uh, go from there. Uh, I, I think uh, maybe Nebraska plays uh, Ohio in uh, two or three years, so that'll be uh, an interesting matchup for me, you know. But uh, yeah, I, I'm glad I'm back. Uh, 
I really want to follow him and, and uh, root for him. Um, I don't know. I, I drove up to Omaha and saw Mike Kennedy, visited with him. He was co-captain, he and I. We were co-captains and um, had, a, a, had a great evening um, with him. You know, I picked uh, Rick Coleman Gordo up at the uh, airport. He was playing about the same time as, as, uh, as I was and uh, drove him down here. He's going to come uh, to the events. And so, yeah, you know, a few guys like that. Um, I'm looking forward to watching the game, uh, you know, and and seeing what um, what what they're all about. You know, I uh, I, I think Coach Rule feels uh, somewhat comfortable about uh, about his team, and um, I'm you know I'm just going to be watching it from a coaching perspective. Um, but you know, then we'll also uh, feel good about being uh, in the midst of the fans, you know, that, uh, that, that's, that's a good feeling for me. <laughs> All right, thank you, fellas.